figured I'd take a break from the Halloween inflatables and start reviewing some Easter ones, so... With that being said, this is the 2006 9-foot-tall inflatable Easter arch. This is a pretty hard-to-come-by inflatable, and I'm honestly not sure why. It's, I, I don't know how many... I don't really know where it was sold, but... Um, the Easter ones typically aren't too hard to come by, especially the, you know, the bunnies, the generic bunnies and whatnot, but this one was, um, from what I've seen, a little bit harder to come by. Um, the, I, I did, I did get a couple Easter ones, but, <clears throat> um, I actually have not tested this one yet. I've tested all of them, and two of them are prototypes. This one is not, obviously, because it has the produced box. Uh, I'm sure if I did a little bit of research, I could figure out what this one was sold, but it's it's not really important to this review. I know I typically say, but I, I, I don't know with this one. So as you can see, it's not been cut yet. Um, let me cut the tape for the first time. Um, okay, here we go. Very lightly as not cut the fabric. Double taped. There we go. I guess you can see right off the bat, very, very nice colors. Fabric feels perfect. Let's go ahead and get this thing out. You can tell it is older because it has the metal loops. I'm not a huge fan of the metal loops. I really wish it had the fabric ones because. I don't know, I just prefer, I, I just prefer the fabric ones for some reason. Um, as you can see, it does have a deluxe base fan, which is great. Um, arches typically need a, a pretty powerful fan to stay up in. I'd say the deluxe is, does a pretty good job of that. As you can see, it comes with a lot of stakes and tethers. Um, the amount that you typically see on a larger inflatable, which is a little bit odder for this one, but I'm not complaining. I do need more, so. Okay, good. It has foldable legs. Some deluxe bases don't. And I'm, I'm tired of the inflatables that don't have foldable bases. Those are so annoying. I'm not sure. Huh, I don't know what the zipper is. But I'm pretty sure this is on the back because this is where the... Oh, here's the zipper. Oh, hold on, hold on. You can see it has the deluxe. This, that's pretty interesting. The, the um, zipper goes up instead of sideways. So, I'm going to have to stretch this out. And I will need to cut the video and get it staked down. But um, I'll do that when I actually get it blown up. I'll go ahead and plate this. I don't know how many lights it has. I'm hoping that each um, egg has its own light. I'm not sure. Hold on. Thing see, it doesn't inflate. I mean, it inflates pretty quickly. It's, I'd say, moderate. Okay, so it does kind of have the um, fabric ones. It has it on the bottom of these. All right. So as you can see, it is fully inflated. It wants to explode, so I can try and bring this up, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to have it staked. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it staked down, and then I will get back to you guys. Alrighty guys, so here it is in all its glory. Um, thankfully, the wind has started to pick up. Um, I don't know how it would be a great inflatable review without there being uh, wind, so I, I really appreciate that. Um, so as you can see, it is. It, it, it does appear to be nine feet tall. Back then, typically, they would just kind of base it off look. So usually, it's a lot bigger than it says on the box. So this, I would say this is more like nine and a half feet. more, Because um, I think... Because honestly, like right here is about eight feet, but um, you can definitely walk under it fine. No worries about that. Even if you're like six foot tall, again, no worries. You'll walk under it uh, perfectly fine. So it does appear that each egg has a light, but I didn't really get a good look at it. I know each, I know each character has about uh, two lights from what it looks like. Um, 
the tether placement is a little odd there's a tether so there's a tether on let me sorry there's there's, there's a um a, a metal tether loop um on the pink egg and then on the yellow egg which is totally fine but then there's a random one that's all the way at the top at the purple egg which makes no sense because you can't have it really down or else you'd have to walk around it when you're going around the arch so that's just not something that really makes sense i guess maybe if you had like a tree over it it would help i don't know there there's a couple of a couple easter ones actually have a tether on the top which really makes no sense but um I'll, I'll just be using the side ones and and um he has two tethers on the bottom of him which you can st you can use to stake down and then obviously it has you know the four that you can stake down um on the egg and i don't think that she has any on her no she doesn't okay but you can see that he has there's one right there and then one on the other side and you can see it is um the fabric um you'll you'll, you'll see um in another review even in 2008 they still had the uh, metal rings but, but on on the bottom of it to get it staked down they, they did use the fabric ones so i guess really only on the giant ones did they use the fabric ones all the, all the way around i'm not sure but um so it has great colors it's not super bright and it's not really dark at all so if it gets faded at all it's not a huge deal i wish the the egg right there was a little bit brighter i don't know why it's 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 really dark purple like it almost does look faded but it's not i i, I almost wish it was the same color as this guy right here and as far as inflation you can see it it doesn't even inflate good like it wants to explode which is great it's hard to find an arch a classic arch that really it really does inflate good um i know most of them had the classic base so it's or the classic fan classic base fan you know like the really crappy one so i'm really happy that this one does have a um deluxe and i'm i don't, I don't mean to really talk about the fan a lot but i'm just happy it has an actual good fan um <clears throat> which is great because it's a, it's a slimmer design too i remember i had a pumpkin stack that um was worn out but it had a really crappy fan and it didn't even stand when it, when it worked fine so i don't know it was a whole thing but um you can see it does have a, uh, some screen printing like uh here this is fabric like the mouth this is not screen printing this is actual fabric but there's screen printing as, as the dots that's fine that's not screen printing but this is um the screen printing isn't sticky at all sometimes it can be if it's in a box for a long time but it doesn't look like it is it's the, it, so obviously it hasn't bled off to anything on here and you can tell the coating's really good because it's, it's a little shiny you can see, yep, see that, how it's shiny? You can tell the, the coating is good then because it's actually soaked through the fabric. So that that's perfect. And you can see that there is a light in there. Um, obviously I can't check for thin spots, but I, I've said this in a million videos. As long as it inflates good, like, I, I don't really care. Like if it, it, classics are classics, they're gonna have some thin marks, but as long as it inflates good, it's not a huge deal. So I don't know how his ears are supposed to go. Um, I don't think they're supposed to face up. I'm, I'm, it's, I think it's supposed to look like it's kind of like, you know, putting pressure on his head so the ears are down, which is kind of how they're stitched. So that's just how it's going to be. And it's not, hitting the, it's not hitting the fence or anything. Like, there's still a good distance. That's just kind of how it rests. And I think it's kind of the same thing for the other side. And, um, yeah, this one actually really shouldn't have any problems being in the display. Um, it's going to be a little bit till I can reveal the other Easter ones, but I think I'll I'll just kind of do like an Easter streak for you guys so I can get those out of the way. I know some of you like the Easter ones, some of you don't. Um, so for those of you that like them, there are like three more on the way. Um, the other three being prototypes, one of them being licensed. So licensed Easter prototypes, so look out for that. But um, the other two I don't think were in my video. I know one of them was, but the other one wasn't so it might be a little bit of a surprise so just stay tuned for that so yeah this is the 2006 nine foot tall inflatable easter arch i really like this design um i'm not 100 percent sure what they go for but it's really not a classic easter display unless you've had unless you have this one which is something i i really do notice so if you ask me this was probably sold at I want to say Walgreens. It, this really looks like something that would be like sold at like a drugstore type thing. Maybe Target. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't think Target. I think this was definitely like a Walgreens one. But um, 
feel free to correct me in the comments I, i'm not sure and if i do figure it out i will put it in the description but as i said it's not a huge deal if i can't figure it out so yeah that's pretty much it i really hope you guys enjoyed and i uh, will see you guys next time